Hello everyone, welcome to Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we are going to see different ways to open edit .jshrc file in macOS terminal. Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you three different ways. I will explain you every uh, thing here uh, with a practical example. Okay, so we will perform all the actions in this tutorial. Let's do it. First way is with the help of VIM editor, with the help of nano editor, and the third one is with the help of text editor. Let's look into the way how to open JSHRC with the VIM editor. Let me tell you a few basic things. VIM allows you to create and edit text file on your Mac. It is wonderful, fast, and free. We must know few important command that we should know to work with VIM. Suppose we want to open the text file, then a simple and single command is sufficient. Okay, now type VIM, then file name. If the file exists, the file will be opened for the editing. If file doesn't exist, file will be created and that will be opened in the edit mode. So you can proceed to write something, then you can save it. Okay, a simple command will work. Now, once you have done with the editing, you have written something on the file, then you want to simply exit from the file. Okay. Uh, let's suppose you have just opened, you have just look, looked into the file, what is inside, and you have not done any changes. In that case, you simply want to exit. So type colon, then Q, and you will be exit, from, right? And now you have written something on the file and you want to save, right? In that case, you have to press the escape button, then type colon and then type W, press enter. Now the third thing, you have just written something and you want to simply write, means save or exit, okay? In that case, you will press the escape button, then press colon, type WQ and then press enter and you will be exit. Let me show you one example. So this is the terminal. Let me show you. We are on here in the current directory. And let me type the ls minus al. So this will display the files here. So in my case, JSHRC file is present. No worries. If you don't have the JSHRC file, we can simply go ahead with the same way. Type vim dot jshrc means you can type vim then the file name. In this example, I am uh, selecting the jshrc file. Press enter. Then you can see the file is opened here in the editor. This time, some entries are present in my file. Okay. Now in this case, we have simply just reading the file we are not going to edit anything in that case now i want to exit from this file simply type colon then q press enter and you will be exit from that editor now again we will go inside the file so i have opened this file in the edit mode now you want to type something right you want to edit something in this file in this case you have to press i button first then you can type anything in this file. I hope this is clear to you. See this? When you get this message insert, only then you can type. So I have typed something. Now I want to save it. Right? In that case, I have to press the escape button first. Then I will type colon and W. Press enter. And so you will see the message at the bottom written. That means... The changes are saved. Great. Now, if you want to exit from this place, simply type colon WQ press enter and you will be exit from this place. I hope the first way is clear to you. Okay, friends. Now we will see the second way. How do we edit the JSHRC file with nano editor? This is so simple. Okay, we have to use the simple command nano, then file name. 
the same process will work here if file doesn't exist that will be created as a temporary file and will be opened in the edit mode once we done with the file writing then we can simply press ctrl plus x to save the changes then it will ask us to press the y to accept the changes and exit let me show you the demo so this is our terminal now let me open the same file again with the help of nano editor see this file is opened and the same content which we have saved in the step one which we have saved with the help of vm editor right so i will do some changes here okay so i have deleted the half text and then i am adding some new text here right so once you are done with writing your file right you have to press ctrl plus x from your keyboard when you do it you will get this kind of message you want to save the changes you need to press yes if you want to discard the changes you need to press n okay when you press y enter you will be exit and all changes will be saved okay this was the simple way to edit the jdsrch file with the nano editor now we will look into the third way we can open and edit the jdsrch file with the help of text edit app but in this case text editor will open the file what is present on your system let me show you so this is the simple command open open space hyphen a text edit text edit is the app which is pre-installed in the mac os and this is our dot jsrc file press enter then you will see this text edit and the file is opened here let me increase the font size see this our changes are present here which we have saved with the help of nano editor right and now in this case we will simply delete these changes because these are the unnecessary changes so we have edited this file now you want to save this the process is simple on the top menu you have the option file you can simply go to the file and you can save it this is just like a simple text editor right and now you can simply close the file that's it again you can try to open the file and you can see the changes are saved or not now see this all changes are saved properly so friends these are the three different ways to open the jshrc file in mac os terminal i hope you guys found this tutorial relevant and useful please hit the like button to appreciate and you can subscribe to learn more and for now thanks for watching cool it help